Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to December 27th, 2019. Four losers become winners. XLY moves up to 20% profit zone, and SAVE left the field. So let's see what happened. First, we'll address the exit. That's most important. You know, how much money did we make or how much money we lost? This one was a loser. We got in at 359, got out at 344, took a $15 hit. $15 divided back into the 359. Remember, one contract is 100. And changing it to a percentage, we dropped, we had a 4%, minus, call it off, minus 4.2% loss. A lot better than 50, 60, or 100% belly ups. So that means that we, the $15 was on five contracts, as you can see right there, five contracts. $75, $75 added to the owed already. Remember, look, save owed us $742. Now save owes us $817. When will I get back into the trade? Well, first of all, I got to see if I have enough buying power from everybody else's exits. And then I look at toward my parameters, my indicators and my entry zone, and boom, I'm back into the trade. All right, let's go on to the winners. Going on to the winners, we have XLY, got to 20%. A little bit of a heartbreaker, why? Because earlier this morning, earlier this morning, it was in the 30% zone. Yes, but look at this. This is most important. This is going for, this is a loss leader, a dead loss leader, AMCE. It was some luxury item. It, it, it's a penny stock trade. It owed me 316. And I transferred the, the owed, the indebtedness, to the XL, the ETF of XLY, which is discretionary spending. In other words, this is where you people go and buy their jewelry and their extra things that they don't really need. It's, this is the buying. This is the wants. I want that. But why? Because I want to have first bragging rights that I own one. Oh, go ahead, buy it. But look at this. It's 462. Yes, we are in a, we are, ent we have entered all bases loaded. I mentioned that before. Any out will do. We stay above the 125.84. We will break out. We should, we will break even on the 316. And then I can re retire AMC off the losers list. And the losers list is running right now as of today 1227 lost leaders is 65 and i was so hoping the other day you guys those guys who tuned in yesterday saw that i had zillow was it zillow i forgot now uh no zillow was it we exited the, oh xly xly going for the for going for the for the uh dead loss leader of l i f s and i was so hoping that we would have gone out yesterday and gave me dropped me down to 64 before the year's end it didn't happen but it's only three dollars short yeah three dollars short you gotta get it remember losers become winners and winners either return all our lost capital which is returns, which just becomes cash in our pocket for more trading, or it comes in with a profit and adding more. So that's what the lost leader is all about. The lost leaders is returning that money and getting into the winner circle. That said, what's going to happen here? Well, we are we are at twenty percent. We are in a prop. We are in profit zone. Our stop is going to be based. We have possibility, maybe a day traders exit here. I would have to stretch this out. Uh, also, I move this guy over a little more this way so I can see clearly. And the low was oh, this is an interesting low. This low here and this low here matched. It's like they match. So this is your this is your higher. To, so this is your dipper right there. So we're looking here at this 124 and doing our calculation of where 124.15. So we're going to move this to 124.15. So this is a lesson now for the beginners, learning how to mark up your chart. There you are, mark up the chart, come to your trader's notes, 
drop in your trader's notes, 27. It's a high, low, high, still the same, it's still a high, low, high exit, and going to 124.15. And there we are. And then we'll go, oh, I forgot to grab the text and do the copy. Hit the OK. Come here to the order ticket. Click it there. Go to your little gearbox. I mean, all this stuff. I mean, you, you would think that, that trading would, would, this is what makes trading difficult. It's knowing the little buttons and stuff that they, they you know, you put it here and what does that mean? You know, you, you, it's like, does that tell you anything? No, it doesn't. It, 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 unless you click it, you don't know what it is. I mean, this little guy over here, I have no idea what this icon does. Let's go check it. Okay, it's a submenu. And it's able to duplicate the order, and I also can change. So, so you see, this, this is what makes trading difficult. It's knowing the little types of nuances that are involved in setting up a trade. So let's go ahead and do our order to confirmation. And there, and that's a confirm and a send. So, I don't know what this guy is doing. Oh, that's our profit line. Ha, huh. you see, that's another good thing too. You really, really got to use notes. Just, just you know, drop property. This is the payback line. Based on mathematical calculations, I have a little spreadsheet, an algorithm, I can't call it a spreadsheet. I go into the cells, I drop in my stuff, and it comes back and gives me the answers. It does all the multiplying and, and stuff behind the scenes. The bottom line is that, I moved over because that's stupid cell bubble. You can't move that. Um, the bottom line is that I have a, a strong, you know, I have a strong indication that we are, we're going to, oh, it is right. Look, that's correct. 316 was our load. 462 is the profit we're sitting on. And there's the close above the line. It proved itself. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize it myself. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here explaining that when we get this profit, we're going to be at break even or better. And we already are at break even or better. 462. <laughs> and embarrassing. I mean, luckily, the camera is not on me because I am all red right now. <laughs> that said, let's move on to CVX. Let's see what's happening over there with those guys. So those guys, they're in the profit zone. Uh, we are, ooh, let's crush this down so we can get a better view here. This is, oh, okay. That cell bubble. I, I, I talked to them and I said, can I move this thing over here? And it says, no. Nah. I'm like, fine, no whatever all right so we're we're tracking right now we're in we are in profit zone anything over in in the positive of one percent is called profit zone and i have four exits buried in here and wherever the exit is the closest and how it is it's like you're in a building and a fire breaks out any exit will do that's the bottom line same with the uh, xl xly for for the uh, lost leader of m a A M C N. Any exit will do. So moving this out of the way. Aha, uh -huh, I see something. I have a small dipper right there. But can I take it? No. Why? Well, the rules say I have to have it to go here. That's one of my exits is the dipper. And the dipper comes from day trading. So it's not a hidden secret. The thing is how to master using it in the five minute chart. And I'm not a day trader. I'm not going to sit here at 6 o'clock in the morning and work six hours and get off of one. No. I'm going to come in here in the morning, open up, see where stuff is at, shut it down, take the doggy for a walk, do my exercises, do my other stuff, come back at 12 o'clock, then review all my accounts before 2 o'clock, before 1 o'clock, and at 1 o'clock, done. And we start making the video. Oh, all right. So our, we have now here on the gold line, we're at, uh, oh, a little bit of a move. It's only 10 cents, but 10 cents is 10 cents in my favor. I'm also going to move the marker further out so that way uh, we have some more room. And it's going up to 60 cents. All right.
And like I said, I learned there, I, I, I like to do all my notes on the screen. I don't have to worry about paper. I don't worry about where the binder goes or disappears. Main notes is here. Yes, I could have I could have copied it if I was a little bit more thinking, but I'm still used to doing it one way in, of, of routine. Oh, I break out of the routine occasionally, but not often. And now we come here. And now this all this little part I just did now. I know you advanced people and your intermediate people are a little bit like, oh, we all know that. I know, but at the same time, you know what we're doing here for the advanced for the advanced people. We're turning around to the rookies and giving them a hand up. That's the way of giving back. You don't get on the road and just go. You get on the road and you throw a lifeline behind you to those who want to learn and those who want to follow and pull them along. And we make the world a better place. I, I mean, oh, money can't buy everything. Excuse me, but according to the Ferengi rules of business, money does buy 0 0.9999.999 of better, better, better life. So we get people who are into trading and make money and they're able to pull themselves out of. I mean, I have my 13 year old nephew, Taiki, and he's a teen Titan trader. Now, why am I so proud of him? It's very simple. In six years, he's going to be ready to go to college. It's five to six years. In five to six years, I expect him to be trading, making his own money to pay for college. Yeah, think about that. Teach your kids how to make their own money, and they're not going to be coming back. Hey, Pop, can you lend me a dime? Can you lend me a dollar? No. You give them the best education you can give them. Education, knowledge, and knowledge to be able to make money. So I'll get off my horse. I'm not running for president. My wife said she would divorce me if I did. All right, moving on. So here we go to one confirm your order and drop it in and send it out. And there we are. So there's our order for XLV. Arena, disappointing. What can we say? Moving over to the Tigers account. All right. Oh, look at this. Coca-Cola jumped to 17% up. And USO is trailing right behind it. Oh, cool. Let's go to Coca-Cola first. They are the leader. And now it's still in a profit zone rule. But look at this. I have a dipper. We have a dipper right there. Oh, we had the dipper from yesterday. What am I talking about? Let me check it. Uh, that's a confirm. Four, 14. Okay. We have... Oh, sometimes that's the entry point. Um, the dipper is reporting in at 5450, 5450. No change. This is why you mark your charts up. No change. You just saved yourself two minutes, maybe 30 seconds, depends upon how. I'm telling you, Nike can kill it. He can do a whole setup trade in four minutes. And if you only have six positions and six new positions that's four minutes if you only have four positions in play and he's able to review the charts within 10 minutes he's done i mean how much how much more efficient can you be in making and keeping your time all right that said let's finish off with uso this is the etf for american oil and it's in profit zone so we're not doing any last bar low we're not doing anyway we do we don't have a dipper to to, to go at let's just zoom in a little bit closer and stretch it out. So it's a it profit zone. Exits do not retreat. Remember that rule? Exits do not retreat. So we're running here off the black value line, which happened to match the dipper line. Mm, a little bit of a clue there. If you see a dipper line, you say, you know what? That might be a, an exit. So what's happening here? We have a low here at... 1282 we have a low here at 1282 we have a flat line so this is not even going to make a dipper for us there'll be no dipper on this one at all the only way we can get to these guys if this gets to 30 percent once it gets over 30 percent we'll be it will be engaging the price headley rules which is also to in the ballpark of mark mcavini 
Minor Valley, Minor Vini. Minor Vini is a trader located on the East Coast. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's in Virginia. I think he's, 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 he's retired himself to Virginia. He's still active. But uh, his thing is, is, is that. Okay, so uh, that's it. We are done for today. So that, thank you for visiting Losers Become Winners. Reminder that the uh, Christmas special will be coming down on coming down Tuesday night. Tuesday night, uh, or actually maybe Tuesday day, because Tuesday Eve, Tuesday night is New Year's Eve. So at the end of the close of the market on Tuesday, we'll be switching out to the New Year's uh, special. All right. That's all for today. Be well. Take care. Bye.